Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jonah Central tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cages using the wireframe modifier in Blender. So let's get started. So to start off I'm going to create a metal material uh, just to make the cages actually look like cages once we get to that step. So I'm going to start off by adding in a noise texture and a bump node. Plug the factor of that uh, noise texture into the height of the bump node normal into the normal of the principal BSDF and I'm going to turn the detail all the way up on the noise texture turn the strength down to about 0.1 on my bump node and then change the base color for my principal BSDF to about 0.2 to 3 make it a little bit blue yeah I'll probably go 0.2 uh, turn the metallic all the way up I'm gonna go back to 0.3 and roughness is good at 0.4 and I am happy with this texture it's just a quick texture, uh, it's nothing you should really worry about. Alright, now this is where the fun begins. I'm going to stay in shading. Uh, if I go to modifiers, add in a wireframe modifier, as you can see, it basically uh, turns the object into the wireframe of the object. So if I went into edit mode, as you can see, uh, these are the edges. Outside of edit mode, now all it shows are the edges as small faces. That can be edited so if I were to enable the visibility of this modifier in edit mode if I add a loop cut as you can see it adds a bunch of edges to the modifier so I could basically create a bunch of really cool boxes so if I were to go into edit mode and subdivide this a bunch of times as you can see I can quickly and efficiently make a cage and if I were to add another modifier a bevel modifier it smoothens out these cage edges which I can then shade smooth to make them look nice. Awesome, this is looking like a great cage. And the amazing thing about this is you can do the same for spheres. Uh, let's shade smooth it, add a wireframe modifier, and then add a bevel modifier, add that material I made. Boom, now we got a spherical cage. It, even, it works for uh, cones, it can work for cylinders, donuts, uh, whatever you want, except for example, with the cylinder, if I were to add that wireframe modifier, as you can see, the top and bottom are very, very open. So to combat that, I'd have to go to face select, select the top and bottom face, extrude, right click, S, shift, Z, scale it down till it's really small, and then create uh, a bunch of loop cuts on the top and bottom to make the tops and bottom closed off. And then uh, as you would, you'd add the bevel modifier and add in whatever material you want to use. Awesome! And this is a really simple and efficient way to make cages in Blender without needing to put in a lot of effort into extruding or whatever. This is one of the quicker ways to do it. Uh, I know this is just a very short tutorial and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in such a long time, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. See you later!